Okay. Hi. Welcome. Welcome back. And we are finally, finally starting Batman Arkham City. I really apologize for having taken so long to get into this game. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute but we are finally back i'm very very excited i am going to be playing this on pc because i did get it on sale along with origins but arkham knight will be on the ps5 because i've also heard arkham knight has some port issues over onto pc so we're gonna give batman arkham city a go i hope the audio levels are okay it's showing it as a bit loud right now but hopefully that's just the music and let's hope we don't have any troubles this time. I also might actually end up connecting my controller. We'll just see how it goes. Um, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was a loading screen. We'll be doing the main menu mode. We'll be doing normal difficulty, all that good stuff. I feel like my camera's turned from 60 FPS to 30 FPS and I don't like it. But anyway, wait, a subtitle's on. I didn't check. What I found. Yes, they are. Don't touch it, man. He'll kill you. How long till the boss gets here? He'll be here. Riley said he saw the bat. Is he here too? He's right there. Arkham Dude. City. Why would he come here? You guys just need to chill the hell out. It's Batman! What no. the hell? Oh my god, Catwoman. Sorry to disappoint you, boys. Oh no, oh no, what happened? The game crashed on me. How rude. I'm really worried there are gonna be issues with this too. Cause obviously you guys know all the trouble I had with Arkham Asylum. I hope this doesn't follow down the same path. No, uh, why is that happening? Okay, so someone said to turn off physics. I've done that. Um, what I'm probably gonna do, I'm just gonna delete that and I'm gonna start it again. This is like the issue that you can get with playing old games, unfortunately. They're not really up to date with new hardware, but hopefully this works. Look what I found. Don't touch it, man. He'll kill you. How long till the boss gets here? He'll be here. Riley said he saw the bat. Is he here too? In Arkham City? Why would he come here? You guys just need to chill the hell out. It's Batman! Catwoman! Oh, bat Sorry to disappoint you, boys. I feel like it's Catwoman. It's just a little old me. Okay, yeah, Catwoman. I knew I was right. I was so scared I was gonna be wrong. I'm gonna hurt you, freak. <gasps> oh my god, this is so cool. You don't... We're gonna rip you apart. And so much more fluid. All taken care of. It's time to get what I came for out of that safe. Okay. Hopefully it's running okay for you guys. But so much more fluid. Um, I might switch to controller. We'll see how it goes. But this looks like that one room in the asylum. With the safe when it got blown up. Try and get one over on me, will you, Harv? I don't think so. Get your filthy paws off that now. If Aurora was human, I'd imagine Wait, her like Mr. that. Wade, we have much to discuss. Strange. You won't get away with this. I already have. This is Vicki Vale reporting live from Arkham City, the controversial super prison built right here in the heart of Gotham. 
In a few moments, Bruce Wayne will be live on stage to explain his sudden interest in Gotham politics. Sudden the interest? The infamous Playboy millionaire has never been one it's to... billionaire, Vicky. Millionaire was <laughs> so last year. <laughs> Lots of white. I assume that you thought yourself untouchable. Well, as you can see, no one is untouchable. Thank you! Thank you, Gotham! Imprisoned behind these walls, gang leaders are fighting a bloody war in the middle of our once great city! Every inmate from Arkham Asylum and Blackgate Prison has been relocated to this facility. How can this be safe for the people of Gotham? Shut Arkham City down. It's out of control. Shut it down. By the end of tonight, I will be a hero. Just like you. So is this not Joker? Is Joker... I know we've got Joker put away. Arkham City and make Gotham safe again. Remember, we is the priority target. Surround him! Hands in the air, Wayne. We have Wayne. Target secured. Okay, I thought all the games were gonna be us catching Joker. I feel I should thank you. Capturing Bruce Wayne is so much easier than Fat Man. And now that we have you, Protocol 10 is ready to begin. Oh, you see him in the reflection of the glasses. Legacy, a monument to your failure. If you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. What's that? You are mine, new inmates. Let me introduce myself. I am Professor Hugo Strange. And I am in charge of the Ark. I keep thinking of Doctor Strange. Strange. Up until this point, you have shown total disregard for the law, for society, and yourself. From this moment on, you are no longer part of the society that you have shown no respect for. You have been separated from the good people of Gotham. By committing the actions that resulted in you being sent here, you have given up the right to a so-called normal life. Oh, hi. I'm kind of confused. The rules of Arkham City to the letter. These rules ensure your continued well-being. Rule one: Do not approach. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this already? Any attempts to approach the wall will be considered an act of escape and will be met with extreme force. Rule two. All prisoners must surrender. I don't I don't understand psychiatric examination when requested. Failure to surrender will be met with extreme force. Look, okay, go over this way. Level nine and ten psychiatric profiling. Oh rule three. Okay. Well What the hell are you doing? Did you think we wouldn't hear you? Okay. Welcome to Arkham City. What are you doing? How did it knock him out before, but not now? Got hit twice now. It's time to. On the ground. Now! What are you waiting for, Wayne? Line A, move! Don't cry for your mother, Wayne. Wait! You're in line A. Move it, rich boy. I hear penguins put a price on you. This is reminding me of. You two get out of the way. Wayne, get you your ass up here. When he was What's a child, with the scarecrow scene. Bruce Wayne, you're on my list. Okay, can I get past, please? Bang. <laughs> Move up, prisoner. Break you all your weapons. Mr. Wayne will not be any trouble. Will you, Mr. Wayne? The cuffs can stay on. We don't want to make things too Can I not just... Do we? Close the doors. Oh, he's terrified. I can't believe it. I'm chill, though. Who's Wayne? 
great. Here I was reporting on your crummy press conference, and now here we both are. I guess that'll teach you to get involved in politics, won't it? Listen to me carefully. When they open the door, do not panic. Stay close to me. Do you think I'm taking is, advice? Is, is this all on purpose? Never even been in a fight? I feel like this is all on purpose. Stay calm. They're trying to scare us. Sorry, man. It's every man for himself. I can hit too. I didn't know I could hit. On your feet, Ryder. I said get up. What about the other dude? Is the other dude. Oh my god. Welcome to hell, Brucey boy. I'm really scared right now. Lights out, rich boy. How are you gonna be doing that to me when your name's called Penguin? What are you gonna do? Waddle waddle waddle. Any waddle away. Wakey, waddle, wakey waddle, waddle. Wayne. Oh, what's up? Do you need me to call your butler? That'd be nice, actually. Can you order me a pizza oh, too? You remember me? Untouched. Your family destroyed mine, Wayne. This, well, let's just call this good old fashioned revenge. <laughs> oh, was I meant to count? That <laughs> was a cutscene still. Hurt him! I think he's broken my bloody head! Someone, open this freaking gate! I'm pressing counter and he just... Don't let him get away. This is where it starts, guys. Taking on the big boys. Actually, please don't. I'm not ready yet. I'm also taking a lot of health, apparently. How do I do that thing again? I can't contact Alfred from down here. I need to get higher. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he'd do that. Running to climb? Where am I? Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, up there. <laughs> Damn! You can jump high. Jesus. I really hope the game's not too loud. It's gonna be a bit embarrassing if it is. Alfred, have you got my location? Only just, sir. There's more interference than usual. I need Wonder an immediate why? drop on the roof of the Ace Chemicals building. I'm on my way there now. Of course. Whoa. Jump the gap between the ledge. Oh, here. I watched your incarceration on the evening news. Was getting yourself arrested a part of your plan all along? Was it? Not exactly. Oh. Although I did get some one-on-one -on -one time with Hugo Strange. And how was that? Not good. He knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. He also told me that something called Protocol 10 will make him famous. I can't leave Arkham City until I find out what it is. I have gone round in a circle. I think. No, I haven't. No, I have not. I was right. See, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm Did doing. It arrive, sir? I just need faith. <gasps> right on time. Da da da.
Alfred. I took an encryption key from a tiger girl. I'm going to hack into their communications. Okay, so yeah, I was really confused because I was like, they know Bruce Wayne is Batman, but it's only that dude that does. I don't know what's going on here. Um, what are we doing? Good evening, Gotham. This is Vicki Vale. Earlier tonight, we brought you dramatic video of Bruce Wayne being arrested and dragged into Arkham City. All units, this is Air Tiger 4. We have confirmation that prisoner 4011 is in the courthouse. It's the Riddler back. I repeat, Catwoman is in the courthouse. Is she in danger? Affirmative. Target is being held by Dent. We believe he intends to kill her. How should we proceed? That is no good. <laughs> Stand down. The two face have his fun. Understood. That doesn't sound good. No. No, it does not. Mr. Dent's predilection for all things binary may not bode well for Miss Kyle. If there's one person in Arkham City who knows what's really going on, it's her. So I thought... I don't know why. I need why. to find Catwoman now. Okay, basically, I thought that we'd still have... What was he? The Sheriff's daughter and stuff like that. But it's all different now. Everything has changed. Enter Two Faces Courthouse. What's this? Hi, boys. There's a fight going on over there. There's a fight going on over there. That was so funny. Ooh. Uh, see, I counter it, but I mean, the recognition is definitely a lot better in this game. Um, the other game, We're gonna hurt you. it just would not recognize it for whatever reason. This one definitely does have better recognition, which I'm glad of. Because that was why I was doing so badly in the other one, believe it or not. Let's have a little look first. Just a little explore. Maybe not, because the door's locked. <laughs> Too slow, idiot. What? Court session. What do you mean by that? I think this one's gonna be locked too. Too late, Shark. We started already. I wanna play as Catwoman again. Oh, this way. I love how I'm taking my sweet Catwoman will die. Oh, okay. Sorry. I love how I'm taking my sweet time. Gotta do a little explore, okay. Did she actually get herself caught cool like that? The only way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect. Beer. That's how we get respect. Show them all that we do things. We should Ew. be fair, though. This is a place of justice, after all. Screw justice. Kill her, and they'll oh. all fear us. Bring out the defendant. <laughs> You certainly know how to keep a girl <laughs> hanging, hard. Oh, this is hard. Hey, have you had some work done? That's for stealing from us. No one steals from us. Oh, I'm sorry I've been a bad kitty. Untie me, and I'll make it up to you. Let's see if the coin thinks you're telling the truth. It's a trick coin. Is it? This court is now in session. Not for long. Ooh, 
the character bios. Okay. Her real name, Harvey Dan. Occupation, a professional criminal. He is based in Gotham City. He is, oh, black with the blue eyes and brown hair. Although his hair is also kind of gray, where it's been singed. He's six foot, he's 182 pounds, and his first appearance was Detective Comments, number 66, August 1942. Bio. District Attorney Harvey Dent was one of Batman's strongest allies in Gotham City, until the criminal threw acid in Dent's face, hideously scarring him. The wounds fractured his physique and he was reborn two face. Oh, this is two face two. A Sky, Skyzoid criminal, mastermind, obsessed with duali duality. His former good luck charm, a two-headed trick silver coin, which I was right, was damaged on one side in the attack and Dent has seized on it as a reflection of his half-scarred visage. He flips it to decide the fate of his victims. Two-Face is thriving in Arkham City, rallying inmates to join his gang using tried and true campaign tactics. His attributes, his <laughs> attributes. He's hideously scarred on half his face. He is extremely skilled with his twin .45 semi-automatics. His has psychotic obsession with duality and the number two defers to his half-scarred coin in choices of life or death. That is a lovely news to know. I'm gonna just put the audio a tiny bit lower because I feel like it was a tiny bit loud. Oh, we have so many. Ah, uh, so many. Oh, wait. Arkham stories. What's all this? Maps, okay. Wayne Tech, okay. That will probably be introduced to us later. Bruce Wayne, we've read all of that. I wonder if this is different. When his parents were gunned down in front of him, young Bruce Wayne resolved to rid Gotham City of the criminal element that took their lives. He trained extensively to achieve mental and physical perfection in addition to mastering martial much arts, detective techniques, and criminal psychology. Dressing as a bat to prey on criminal spheres, Batman fights crime with the aid of specialized gadgets and vehicles operating out his secret back cave below Wayne Manor. Okay. And then Bruce Wayne. Born into the wealthy Wayne family, Bruce Wayne has an idyllic childhood, but after witnessing his parents' violent murder in Crime Alley, Bruce dedicated his life to battling criminals. He circled the globe for years, training his mental and physical abilities to their peak. Gotham City welcomed him home, not knowing that high society's favourite billionaire playboy is also the Batman. Bruce has never been into politics, but Batman alone has not been able to stop Arkham City's construction, and so he has no choice but to use his alter ego and invest millions to bring enough political pressure to bear to force its Closure. He knows it's a ticking time bomb waiting to explode onto the streets of Gotham. Have Alfred. Real name Alfred Pennyworth. He's a butler, Gotham City, blue eyes, grey hair, six foot, 160 pounds. His first appearance was Batman number 16, April May to May 1943. After a varied carer, Alfred Pennyworth was oh Alfred was employed as the Wayne family's butler. When Bruce Wayne's parents were killed, Alfred raised a young orphan and reluctantly aided him in his quest to become the Batman. Alfred, where were you? Where were you in asylum, huh? I, he, he might have, I don't know. Alfred's money skills ranging from cooking to combat medicine make him Batman's staunchest ally along with the formal demeanor that grounds the Dark Knight and deflects those who might otherwise suspect Bruce Wayne's true identity. He is a skilled actor trained in emergency medical techniques, proficiency with mechanical and computer systems, expert in domestic sciences and unflappable manner whatever that means. With Penguin, his name is Oswald, Os Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot. His occupation is the black market, black market racketeer. He's based in Gotham City. He's blue eyes, black hair. He's four foot 10, 170 five pounds. His first appearance was Detective Comics number 58, December 1941. The Penguin is an eccentric criminal mastermind known for his shady business dealings. Born into a wealthy couple pop family, Oswald was sent overseas for a school as a boy. When his family hit hard times, couple pop immersed himself in a criminal education on the streets of London. Oh my god, he's from here. Years later, he re-emerged as the Penguin, a black market arms dealer in Gotham facilitating the illegal financial activities that fund much of the city's underworld. The Penguin seems to be prospering with Arkham City as the leader of its emergency black market. He's a criminal and financial mastermind, expert hand-to-hand -hand combatant, driven to prove himself, employs various weapons. This is Hugo Strange. He's a cut psychiatrist based in Gotham City. Great eyes, grey hair, 5'10, 180 pounds. And his first appearance was Detective Comics number 36, February 
faulty. Infamous psychiatrist Hugo Strange claims to have unique insight on the criminal mind from years of clinical study. He persuaded Mayor Sharp that the Arkham City project was the only way for Gotham City to eliminate crime and rogue vigilantes like Batman. Rumors persist of Strange performing ethically dubious experiments on inmates without consent, but unless hard proof comes to light, the Gotham public is happy to credit Strange with their dramatically reduced crime rate. Strange knows that Batman will hunt him down, he is counting on it. He is trained to physical perfection, brilliant psychiatrist, psychological analyst, extensive knowledge of psychoactive substances, obsessed with Batman and Batman's secret identity, played by schizophrenic episodes. Also, I know this is a lot of reading right now, but this is something that we like to do over here. We do like to read and I, because I'm not all too familiar with the Batman universe or Arkham universe, I guess, I do like to read these just to get some insight on what's going on basically. So this is Vicky Vale. She is an investigative journalist based in Gotham City, blue eyes, blonde hair, 5'7", 121 pounds. Her first appearance was Batman number 49, October to November, or October slash November 1948. Investigative reporter Vicky Vale got her start at the Gotham City Gazette, where she quickly rose to fame for her unwavering commitment to rooting out the ugly truths behind Gotham's corruption and poverty. Focusing more and more on Batman's feats, Vicky has recently turned her attention to the opening of Arkham City. She'll risk life and limb to portray the danger this prison city poses to the public, perhaps overly confident that Batman will be able to catch her when she falls. Perhaps she has a little crush. We read um, Two-Face. We have Catwoman. Her real name is Selena. Kyle. Her occupation is professional thief. She's based in Gotham City. Green eyes, black hair, 5'7, 125 pounds. Her first appearance was Batman number one, spring 1940. An orphan who learned to survive on the mean streets of Gotham, Selena Kyle turned to theory to survive. Determined to do it with style, she learned martial arts and trained in gymnastics to perfect her skills. Her criminal activities are tempered by reluctant altruism, making her an inconstant villain and occasional hero. She maintains a complicated adversarial relationship with Batman that frequently turns flirtatious and occasionally romantic. Since the opening of Arkham City, reports of Catwoman burglaries are down, though underworld, though underworld rumors have her hunting down Two-Face for an unknown reason. She is very much giving Black Cat from Spider-Man. She is a trained gymnast and athlete, expert hand-to-hand -hand combatant, highly skilled with whips, and rivaled stealth capabilities, obsessed with stealing famous and well-protected items. We have Black Mask. His real name is Roman Sionis. He is a professional criminal based in Gotham City, brown eyes, brown hair, six foot one, 195 pounds. His first appearance was Batman number 386, August 1985, one month before Joel Miller was born. There you go. Following the suspicious death of his wealthy parents in a fire, Roman Sionis inherited their fortune and went on to bankrupt their company. Saved with a buyout by Bruce Wayne, Sionis came to resent and hate his rescuer. Fixated on the concept of masks, Sionis carved one from his father's black coffin and sought revenge on Wayne. His ensuing battle with the Dark Knight caused his mask to be burnt into his skin, remaking him as the Black Mask. Sionis is now a feared gang leader and one of the most powerful mob bosses in Gotham with a burning hatred of Batman. The Batman. Damn. Then we have Jack Ryder. His occupation, he's an investigative reporter based in Gotham City, blue eyes, black hair, six foot, 194 pounds. His first appearance was showcase number 73, March 1968. Jack Ryder is an investigative reporter turned controversial talk show host, well known for his aggressive manner and his relentless determination to get to the truth. With the opening of the controversial Arkham City at hand, Ryder hopes to discover the roots of this dangerous stronghold and expose them for the good of Gotham. He is a determined reporter known for his aggressive pursuit of stories, famous for his controversial talk show. Damn, you do not have a lot of attributes. I feel like we have less characters this time. I don't know. It just, it kind of feels like a, this is Wayne Ter. Oh, it shows you. That's cool. Oh, oh, these are upgrades. Okay. Oh, so I, so I think we get to play as Catwoman again, which is really fun. Okay. Order! Order! Right. Sorry, I just have to go get some balls now. Like Taking out the thug with the gun is the key. Without him, the rest of the room won't be a problem. Bye-bye. What's this? Today we present each of you with an exciting new opportunity. Two opportunities. <laughs> to join with us to create a new force in Arkham. And take this place for ourselves. Mm. With the 
Okay. Ah. Okay, double space to evade. You can't tell me to double space to evade if I can't double space to evade. But I, I evaded. Evade? Oh my god. There we go. Oh god. My health is going immensely. I, I'm panicking, that's why. I'm playing badly because I'm panicking. I think it's like, I just have this constant need to always be good. And well, playing well. Damn. Overruled. Okay. Hey, what? Oh, I thought that was an accident. That was meant Heads to happen. Heads or tails, kitty cat. Which tails. one lets me out of here alive? Not this one. Time to die. I vote for a stay of execution. No gun harm? Two against one. Shame. This is gonna hurt. Two guns, bitch! <laughs> Hey. And I thought it was cats who have nine lives. Just chuck him in. Just do it. How's it hanging, Harv? Come to Kitty. Anyone ever tell you that you're full of surprises? I figured you could use my help, Selena. You're right. I think I chipped a nail back there. What is she? Funny. Nice set, though. So what do you need, Mr. Detective? Protocol 10. What do you know, Selena? Never heard of it. That's not what I wanted to hear. What about Strange? I don't trust him. He's been missing for years, and then is suddenly put in charge of running Arkham City. Rumor has it he's been working with Joker, planning something very special just for you. Maybe that's Protocol 10. Maybe so. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. Joker. Watch me kill your favorite cat. <laughs> the ex-district attorney here has said something- <gasps> What the hell? This place is dangerous. I like it. You expecting a kiss? Yes. It was Joker. You're not safe here. No one is. I thought that was established Nine already. lives, remember? How many are you on, though? Interrogate I Joker. I need to locate to where the bullet cat. entered the core. How did he get out? Where it impacted. Okay, scan the crime scene. Cut me down! Fight us like a man! Did I know? Whoa. The bullet entered 12. the window 12.7 millimeter cipher? Now where did it hit? Where did it hit? There. The trajectory the bullet traveled will lead me to the shooter. But like... Wouldn't he be gone by then? Joker! Real name, unknown. It's a professional criminal, Gotham City, green eyes, green hair, six foot, 160 pounds. His first appearance was Batman number one, spring 1940. The self-styled clown prince of crime has no superpowers beyond a capacity, a 
capacity for incredible violence and a skill at creating deadly mayhem. Since his last encounter with the Dark Knight, the Joker has been transferred to Arkham City. Eyewitnesses claim he's stricken with a serious disease, possibly caused by his Titan overdose on Arkham Island. He has been lying low, delivering orders through Harley Quinn, so no one can confirm if the Joker is actually in poor health or playing another sick joke. He is an unrepentant homicide, homicidal maniac. He is surprisingly strong hand to hand combatant. Unknown past, employs various deadly weapons, often based on party gag items, uses a fatal toxin that stretches victim faces into a joker like grin. So exciting. Can I, I feel like I really want to just like, no, you little rat. Okay, well, exciting, exciting. Um, do we just go then? We need to, we need to go over here, don't we? We can set a waypoint. Oh, okay, that's really cool. Um, do I just, can I go through here now? Protocol 10 will commence in 10 hours. That doesn't sound too good. So those will lead into like the same area. He's trying to get out. Don't let him. Hold that door shut. How do I get out then? That's what I'm doing. Oh, you're here. Bye. Is he still in there? I think so. I can hear someone in there. Keep that door shut, man! I don't want to go head to head with Batman! You didn't say it was Batman. Why the hell are we still here? We should run or something! You think? Don't be stupid. If you keep that door closed, he can't get out and we are safe. Really? What's stopping him going out the back? There's a back? Yeah. Two face show. You cold? Of course I'm cold. Wait, what's I there? Blow out here. Holly left us outside to freeze to death. Crazy bitch. Bet she's nice and warm in there. Take it easy, man. I'm just asking. Who was that lady? The one who got dragged off? No idea. Just one of the losers from the church. Bunch of do-gooders, if you ask me. Hope the Joker hurts her bad. Odds are he will. He ain't been his usual happy self for a while doing? now. Do you think the rumors are Oh my true? god, wait, I think I'm what? trapped in here. Harley used to be a dude? Nah, the one's about the Joker dying. No idea, man, but he didn't look too good last time I saw him. Guys, I think I'm what trapped. That? I ain't seen him for months. Me neither. The way I see it, if Big J dies, this place becomes an all-out war zone. If that happens, I'm trapped. If Batman gets out of there, he'll kick our asses. Yeah, I think I need that explosive detonate thingy. Oh wait, no, I already have it. That's really cool. I like that. Oh no, I meant to just detonate it. The Joker's done for. Wonder if I can snag Harley on the rebound. The bat's here! Hi! Hello, Dark Knight. Did you find that easy? You were no. supposed to. That was merely a taste of what is to come. You will regret trying to outsmart me. You will solve my riddles and you will collect my trophies. You may not want to, but you must. It's a matter of life and death. I'm a bit glitchy there, babes. How do I What's get out? Up? Scared to fight me back? I'm, oh, I'm back the mic. Why is he kind of fine? <laughs> I'm, j I'm joking. I'm joking. What's happened here? The Riddler, real name Eddie Nashton, aka Edward Nigma. He is a professional criminal, Gotham City, blue eyes, brown hair, six foot one, 183 pounds. His first appearance was Detective Comics number 140, October 1948. With an obsessive, compulsive need for attention, Edward Nigma is determined to be the cleverest of Gotham City's criminals, plotting elaborate trails of clues and riddles around his crimes. Batman has proven a worthy opponent capable of unraveling the riddler's most 
intricate plans, but Enigma is dedicated to creating a mystery that will stump the Dark Knight even if he has to kill someone to do it. Humiliated by Batman on Arkham Island, Enigma is more determined than ever to bring the caped crusader to his knees. So I obviously didn't get all the trophies because I'm a bit dumb dumb. I still have yet to watch the ending scene where, or like 100% scene where Des it's with him, but I'm guessing he gets humiliated by this sentence alone. He has a genius intellect, he is driven to test others by leaving clues to his crimes and has a compulsive need for attention. Don't we all? Don't we all? Okay. Oh, we've unlocked a challenge. How His name nice. is Hugo Strange. Why do they keep finding these creeps? I don't think I'm just going to be able to go through the front door. So. Blood and claw marks. You know what? Maybe I have to. Did anyone notice? Of course they did. Batman was there. Catwoman was there. Should have done that one. It's so, so nice, the game so compared I'm to the, the first church. one. It looks like Harley Quinn is inside. That dreadful woman is no doubt setting a trap for you. Don't worry, Alfred. The ice Quinn cream never cone. was too smart. I'll be okay. That's a bit rude. We like Harley here. Okay. Medical center. Okay. Hi. Oh, wait. Damn. Let the lady go, Bat Freak, or these people all get a bullet in their heads. I think you should do it. I what love he says. the new look. It would be a shame to get blood all over my nice new outfit. What it do looks you cool. Bat Brain. Like it? Love it. What am I saying? Of course you do. Who wouldn't? So, anyway, here's the deal. Mr. J is really not up to a visit right now. He's not feeling himself. I wonder well, why. Actually, he was earlier, but that's not what I meant. He's not doing so good, and that idiot doctor I sent from here didn't help. I've seen more smarts from these bozos. I've got to run, boys. If he tries anything funny, kill him. So apparently her voice actress is different because I believe the other one retired. But her name is Dr. Harleen F. Quinzel. She's a professional criminal, Gotham City, blue eyes, blonde hair, and then blackish hair now. And red, I guess. She's five foot seven. Oh, she's shorter than me. Uh, 140 pounds and her first appearance was Batman. Harley Quinn, number one, October 1999. An Arkham Asylum psychiatrist. Oh, okay. So I know I knew she was a psychiatrist, but I didn't realize she worked at Arkham Asylum. Decided to treat the Joker, Doctor Harley Quinzel, instead became obsessively fixated on her patients, believing herself to be in love with him. Oh, patient, not patients. Happened once. She helps him escape and took on her own criminal identity as Harley Quinn. Quinn is a violent and unpredictable felon whose only motivation is achieving the Joker's approval because of his cruel and mercurial nature this in some ways makes her just another one of his victims albeit a very dangerous one since the joker's titan overdose in arkham asylum Hades' mind has further deteriorated she is blindly determined to put a smile back on his face but it's kind of cute her attributes surprising strength and stamina superior gymnastic skills and a total disregard for human life so that's fun something to look forward to i guess attacking armed thugs head-on is suicide I need to disappear. Pick them off silently, one by one. Don't you move, Batman. Just stay there and this will all end okay. Bye. Oh, you disappeared. They don't know where I am. Who knew? Good. Let's keep it that way. Time to survey the room. Plan out my tactics. Four thugs, all armed. Two hostages. This is gonna be easy. We need to get out of here. He's gonna get us. Batman. Can you hear me? Try and get us and these people die! That idiot thinks he's safe in the confessional. Oh, man, he's just made it easier here. for me to get in behind him. Okay, so we go here. 
Wait, where is that dude? He's there. Did you see him? Where is he? I don't know where he is. I can't see him. He could come from anywhere. Back. I'm Get yeah, I'm just gonna Get um, out of here. Leave now. He's dead. I'm bad. Stupid little dead bat! Who's gonna save you now? You rat. Rats. How rude. Okay, yeah, I, I, uh, we're gonna ignore that. Don't you? Bye. They don't know where I am. Good. Let's keep it that way. Time to survey the room. Okay. Plan out my tactics. Four thugs, all armed, two hostages. This is gonna be easy. We need to get out of here. He's gonna get us. That Back idiot there. thinks he's safe in the confessional. Try he's just made it easier for me to get in behind die. him. That won't stop him. Oh, man, I'm gonna die in here. I'm here to help you, people. Why are you doing this? Wait. Take down when by wood pallet. 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 Paneling. Where is he? Oh! You'll be okay. Wait here and don't make a noise. He's oh, got he's a speaking hostage. to the thing. I can glide to the scaffolding above him without being seen and take him down from there. Okay. Answer me. If I do that, the hostage taker will kill the hostage. Bye. Okay. You're safe. Stay quiet. You should give up. Answer me, man. You know what's going on? I'll kill you myself. If I can get behind those two without being seen, I can take them both in one move. So cool. The room is secure. You're safe now. So cool, but so tense. Okay. Yo, Batman. Thanks for the help. Hi. Wait, are you the same Aaron Cash? Do I need to speak to you guys? What do I do? Kind of confused. What happened to this prisoner? He's not a prisoner. He's a doctor. Was he attacked? No. It's terrible, really. He transferred here, but I think it was too much for him. We didn't realize he was losing it. And he... We should have noticed. Noticed what? He was stealing supplies. Anesthetics, mostly. He used them when he... When he cut his own face off. I found him. He was sitting in the corner, laughing. His face was missing. I wrapped him up and sedated him. Who knows what's in that case he's holding on to? We couldn't pry it loose. Oh my god. What do you think is in the case? We're in control here, not these animals. I want this place locked down tight. Are you all right? All medical staff check supplies. Find out I if am. anything was taken. Well, what about Stacy? Isn't anyone going after her? I don't know if any of I never thought I'd actually get to meet Batman. I don't know what happened there. Anyone can find her, he'll do it. Okay, does everyone understand? Look after the wounded, keep the bad guys out. We're a team, let's keep it that way. Thank God you got here, Batman. After what happened at the asylum, I thought you'd settle yeah, for a quiet is. desk job. The same thing. Yeah, right. When Shark closed down the asylum, it turned out there wasn't much work for an ex-security guard who failed to stop a mass breakout. This is the only work I can get. What happened back there wasn't your fault, Cash. What was Harley Quinn doing here? That crazy bitch busted in a couple of hours ago with the rest of these idiots. Took something up the tower, then blew up the staircase. Thanks. I'll check it out. Wait. I mean... Sorry, Batman, I forgot. A couple of them grabbed one of the docks. Quinn said something about needing her to fix up the Joker. If she's alive, I'll find her. You concentrate on securing this church. It should keep you all safe. Will do. Hope you find the doc. Her name's Stacy Baker. She's one of the good ones. Okay. 
I can't believe Sharp let this place get so out of control. How did Strange get so much power? I never I keep heard thinking of Doctor Strange. Over. This reminds me of the bell tower in the asylum. Need to get one there. Oh. There's the gun. It looks like it's being controlled remotely by Joker. Hi. And oh, that's right. You left me to die. Hmm. Now, you probably don't remember it that way, but who cares? You just need to worry about the bombs. Hurry up now. Clock's ticking. Five. Four. Um. I can't. Three. I can't dive through the window. They're locked. Oh my god. The only is, Wait, um, whose body the... will it be? Where is it? I know who I'm rooting for. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> now get out of there now! Oh, you All units, we have confirmation that Bruce Wayne has been arrested by Tiger Guards. I knew it. I don't... You're nothing but a lightweight loser. I don't understand. Use a video to dive through the church window. But I can't, they're all locked. Oh, I, do I have to do There's that again? You just need to worry about the bombs. Hurry up now, clock's ticking. There we go. I tried that, I did try it and it didn't work. Okay. Alfred, I've got a lock on the signal used to remotely control the sniper rifle. Joker's behind this. Was there ever any Pilots. doubt? The radio signal should lead me right to him. Good luck, sir. Where are they? They should have been back here hours ago. I don't know. They know the rules. I keep telling you Wait, guys, what's... get back here before it gets dark. Maybe Two-Face's crew got him. Damn it! Why the hell didn't they listen? Oh, I think this we have to go do it now. This we're safe. We stay in here, and those animals don't bother us. We're telling the wrong person. I know, I know. Why did they go out? Food, I guess. They should have waited. They were hungry. Hell, we're all hungry. I haven't eaten for days. This way. We're dying here. We're safer here than out there. I'll get us some food. How? Every time strange drops no. out, those bastards get it first. We don't stand a chance. I'll figure something out. Trust me. What the hell happened? Don't know. Gas leak? In a church rooftop? A gas leak? No way. Must have been something to do with Holly. I told you she- Holly. Sorry. I just Augmented need... reality training online. Excuse me? <clears throat> you sure about this? No, but what choice do we have? There's gotta be something else we can do. No. What? You screwed it up with penguins, guys. I think they'll kill us when we go back in. You saw what happened when Batman went there, boy. Maybe two faces is still okay, you know? After Batman went in there. Did you see Batman come out? Yeah. Did you see Two Face? No. Welcome, inmate. So it's the joke. You are now taking your first tentative steps towards a better world. A world of fun, mischief, and best of all, a world where the only person you need to answer to is yours truly. <laughs> 
this isn't fun. Word is we shoot every sorry ass loser that comes this way. Okay. Wait a second. Doesn't Joker's PA say he takes anyone? We do. Today, however, we shoot him. Yesterday we took him in the back. I know what you guys are thinking. Is it all true? Really? Yes. Yes. Sionis. Yes. 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 It was obviously too easy. Let's see, if all the other access routes are locked down, the only way in would be... No, it's suicide. The main chimney. Okay, then. Good. Where is that? How the hell are we supposed to get in that? Up here? Really? Oh, god damn. Doing it too early. There we go. The steam from the furnace will boil me alive. I need to cool down the coal somehow. That's just taking me back up. Oh. This feels dangerous. Health is so low. Oh. Who was Holly talking about? Sounds like she's declared war on Freeze. Yeah, she sounded pissed. How's he connected to Joker and all this mess? How should I know? She's always freaking out these days. Joker really must be sick after all. I guess. I always figured he'd last forever. You know what I mean? Maybe it's got something to do with all that crap. The steam is blocking the exit. 
If I follow the pipe back, I may find a way to shut it down. He was like some kind of freaking monster. He was he was huge. Well, I thought he was gonna start ripping Oh, quick like fire. That. And next time you see him, he's all normal looking. Yeah, normal. Like he ever looked normal. There we go. I was like extremely confused. Yeah. Oh, and then we can weird. go out. I don't buy it. This, this is way. all part of Joker's plan. It must be. He's gonna be fine. He's just screwing with the bat. Batman! He's here! You may want to run, Bat! Don't let him get away again! Ah! Gosh. I'm already so low on health though. Die, this is so sad. I probably am though, I'm not gonna lie, you're probably right. Entire asylum well, spot. No if way you're getting to Mr. J. Me? We're safe and sound up here. You can just stay down there and burn. Someone's mad. You're gonna bring in more enemies, aren't you? Alfred, Joker's holed up in the manager's office in the steel mill. I'm sure you'll find a way, sir. Huh? Of course I will. Some of his goons dragged a doctor away. I'm going to find her first, then deal with Joker. Okay, we can level up armor. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, let's do that. And I can't upgrade anything else. Okay. Um, got to get through there. Well, how, what way do we go? Harvey? Harvey's here too? Oh, it's probably through here. Let me just check. Yeah. Okay. Wait, did that save me? Scanning currently on a t to add them. Oh! Hold up. Okay. I think that saved me. I'm gonna hope it saved me because I think if I go into this area, it's gonna start something else. Okay. It saved me here. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave that there for today's part of Batman Arkham City. I've missed it and I'm loving it so much. My combat is still absolutely atrocious, but I feel like I've got a tiny bit better, especially with managing the countering and not spamming attacks. I don't know how long this part's gonna be, but I, I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun. I'm mad that it took me so long to get back into this game. And I'm, I'm happy that like Joker and Harley are back and we will go on and we'll find Stacy next time. Also the addition of Catherine woman but i'm gonna leave it there for today's part thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you in the next part next part sorry of batman arkham city okay bye